Hi girlies, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing my nails. But before I get into any details of this video, I want to give a quick shout out notification to the first three people who left a comment in my previous video. Shout out to Flavia J, Lizzie Roland, and Nailed by Messi. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Lots of kisses. All right. <laughs> let's get into today's video all right so first things first i am prepping my nails already and i'm making use of this um cuticle bit i go on reverse i go on forward and i'm working on 4000 rpms um so like i said i just did a soak off on my nails uh just like uh, actually did a soak off this particular day as well so i immediately just did a soak off and um, I still have just a little bit of acrylics on my nails, but that's okay. I'm going to file it. And sometimes, like, it, like if you have a bit of acrylics on your nails, it's still okay if you have just a bit. As long as it blends nicely into the natural nails and there is no, like, space or air pockets, then that's completely fine. So I'm using my sanding band to take off the shine from the natural nails and just to, like, level any um, previous acrylics on my nail from my last set yeah after this we're going to come in with our i don't even know what this bit is called it's like a round ball bit yeah it's a ball bit except this one isn't ball shaped <laughs> all right so this bit is going to help me further like push back the cuticles and um, just make it easier for me to come in with my nippers to take off the dead skin so that my nails look nice at, le at least I can have like um neat nails even while I have extensions on so that's like um all of the reasons for this nail prep At this point, you can choose to trim your nails or retain the length and just file it, which is what I'm doing. Um, and, and I need to do an overlay at some point and I kind of would want to have length on. So let's retain the length, which is why I'm filing. And I'm filing in this shape as well because it just looks neater. Anyways, um, after this, I'm going to wash my hands with that hand wash soap and then that scrubby thingy. And then after washing my hands, this is like the um, the most crucial part for me of doing my prep, which is like cleaning and making sure that there's no um, particle or dust still like in my cuticle area. I want everything to be clean and nice. So this is my hands after I have finished washing and then we're going to apply our nail tips. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I just want to throw this out there and ask like, what kind of videos would you guys like to see in terms of new videos now? What kind of new videos would you like to see? I feel like, um, I mean, I'd always show prep and, um, you know, like the different stages of doing nails. But would you guys like to see like maybe a video where I literally just start from, um, I've prepped the nails already and we're going to go straight into the design. Or would you guys like to see a video where, for instance, I've done the application already and we're just going to go straight into the design? Like, what kind of videos would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so after the nail tips have been applied, I'm going in with my nail primer. And this Glitz by Safford nail primer is the bomb. Like, it, it's really, really good, I have to admit. I'm going to apply two coats of primer for the acrylic application. We're using the Glow Nail Monomer and this self-mixed nude powder. And then we're going to start applying our acrylics. Um, I did work with one bead. I picked up a bead that was too large and I didn't want to waste it. So I just started working with it anyways. Um, the trick to working one bead is literally, um, how do I say bead control and the perfect bead so if your if your um, bead is a bit too runny if you pick up a runny bead it's not gonna like you're not gonna be able to catch it and move it around but if it's just right it's going to be like play-doh and it's just really easy to work 
articulate the feeling I'm going through. I just can't say I don't love you. Cause I love you. Yeah, it's hard for me to communicate the thoughts that I hold. But tonight I'm gonna let you know. Let me tell the truth. Baby, let me tell the truth. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. See it in your eyes. You hear it that you want me. Hate it when you cry. You're scared to be lonely. Especially in the night. I'm scared that I'll miss you. Happens every time. I stop what I'm feeling. I can't afford love. I try to find me some. To pull us apart. It ain't working because you're perfect. And I know that you're worth it. I can't walk away. It's finding time. I'm using the CHB um, 800 grits and I'm going to do the side walls first. I always do the side walls first. After that, I'm going to go over the body of the nail. You want to file straight out. And then we're going to come in with our e file. It's where the magic begins. <laughs> and we're going to seal in the cuticle, sculpt out our apex, all of that to make sure that the nails look as natural and clean and cute as I want them to be. And then we'll, we'll crisp up the um, free edge as well. And then this is what I have. I filed the other hand as well. And I'm going to wash my hands 
Okay, so I did a poll on Instagram. I tried to do one here, but obviously that didn't go so well. I did a poll on Instagram and um, the color that they chose that was decided upon was burgundy. I'm not a fan of like dark colors at all, but let's make this work so i did um i'm I'm going to do a french design on the other hand i tried this is like off camera i tried a lot of um different ways that i could think of to make the nails or uh, make the color look a bit like brighter because like i said i don't like dark colors but oh yeah so any design that i'm thinking of is going to be tilting towards how to make it look brighter and then just you know, pop a bit. So, um, which is why, like, my right hand has, like, a few. And honestly, do you know how many times I filed my nails off, you guys? I filed the different designs that I'd done off. Oh, my God. Anyways, I settled with doing a very clean French, like a simple design. Apparently, simple wins it all. So, I just, I, I'd already settled to do a very clean French um, which is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do the 3D flower that I've been wanting to do for so long. Yeah, we're going to do that today in this video. So for the French design, make sure you, um, if your polish isn't as pigmented as you would like, you want to do two coats. So after the first um, coat, after drying out your French, the first coat, you cure in the lamp, then you come back and reapply the polish, and then it, it, it the color pops out or it looks a bit, it looks more, you know, like there. So we're going to put just one tiny um, clear stone on the just in the middle of the of the French. It makes it look even better. I think now it pops out. Now it does pop out. <laughs> All right, so apply that and then we're going to top coat all of the nails. So the middle finger is blank because I'm going to do my 3D flower on it. And I feel like in the next two, like after this design, when I want to do this again, I feel like I'll do it even much, much better. Or like just, I can think of something much, much, much cooler. So yeah, apply the top coat, cure in the lamp, and then we're going to come back. So this is the 3D gel that I'm using. I got it from CHB Luxury and um, it's light pink. And um, this gel, when I, when, I, when I first used it on my, if see, how, this is how I judge how good, like um, not just a product, but like how easy doing something is. So if I'm able to do it on the other hand with my left hand, then it's a no brainer. That's how I <laughs> that's how I think about it. So I just used this. Um, okay, so this what's this thing called? This cuticle um, trimmer is also from CHB Luxury as well. Um, the end of the cuticle trimmer has this um, silicone thing. It's not exactly silicone, but it's like an imitate silicone material. It feels like that. So, anyways, that's what I'm going to use, or that's what I used to scoop the gel to work the gel and then you have to use a bit of water i tried alcohol and it was like just getting soft and slurry and slimy and i was like no 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 i saw a video somewhere um where the lady used water and i'm like okay okay, okay so let's get water <laughs> so i did get water and water turned out to work so so well doing this flower literally took me back to my childhood because i used to really like playing with plasticine when i was a child and this 3d flower does give that play-doh texture so when you're working with it you're in for like a fun time all right so um like i said you want to use water to work the flower and if possible you can just pull up a picture and um, use it as reference i was working off the top of my head because i've seen this design done so so many times and i'm just like okay it's my turn to try <laughs> so you want to work with like one petal at a time one way you can do that is to um scoop out the gel and roll it into like a ball and then just start to work it till you have something that looks like a leafy petal or the, just depending on how 
what or what or how you want your flowers to look. I think that's another thing. Um, just the fact that the flowers can be unique to themselves, if that makes any sense. Like the one on my right hand is completely different from the one on my left hand and it's still cute. So yes, yeah, so just roll out the flower, the um, 3D gel into like a ball. It makes it easy to manipulate and ju to just like press around. And I'm sure you can actually even use um, a brush, the 3D, br um, you know, the small size two brushes. I'm sure you can use that to work, maybe not to scoop the gel, but to work it around. So this is why I have, I cured each petal in the lamp to achieve all of that together. And now I'm coming in with this yellow um, gel polish, just any, any, any polish would do at, at this point. Okay, so I'm using the yellow gel polish on the insides of the flower just to create a bit of um, detail, extra details to my flower. Cure that in the lamp. I'm going to come in with my um, airbrush and I'm going to just airbrush the center of the um, flower so that that looks good. And then I'm going to wipe the unwanted parts and wipe around your nail as well. To add even more detail, I'm coming in with black polish just in the center and then I'm going to create the faintest of veins around the around each petal so we can sort of differentiate each petal, right? And then cure that in the lamp and I'm coming in with white gel polish just for to seal in the extra details. Okay girls, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I'm just moisturizing my hands now with some aloe vera gel. Um, I mean, after the whole nail process, I need to freshen my hands up and give it a little TLC. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Would you be recreating or trying it out? What do you think about 3D flowers? Let me know in the comments, you guys. I'm happy to answer and respond to anybody's comments. And don't forget, we'll be doing a shout-out notification in my next video to the first three people who comment. So, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.